Hey, it's Benny, back with Roll and Write Revolution. This is our game, Honey. Honey, okay, there you go. Uh, this is a Roll and Write game, of course. I like to consider this game idyllic AF. Um, this game is a pretty chill game, as far as that goes. So, this is a game where, um, you guys have seen the rules. Um, but this is our play along. So, I'm going to play along with Honey with you guys. So, we have a green die, a yellow die, a purple die. You can gradually gain those. So for our purposes, for your sake, because I can't exactly tell when you guys are going to grab all of these beautiful dice to add to your dice bag, I'm going to go ahead and add them from the beginning. So anytime we draw one of these, we're going to consider it to be a blank or a plain die. Um, we also have powers over here that we can use. So we're going to be putting our dice out here. We're going to have uh, five cards that are our goal cards. So I'll go ahead and get those mixed up. Nice and mixed up here. There we go. We have just five for this game, so we'll do one, two, three. I don't think you guys are gonna see all those four. Move my dice bag out of the way. And five, there we go, my messy desk. So, put those to the side. These, uh, these have two possible goals, so you gotta pick which goal you're gonna use at each of the five rounds. I remember dice, if you have them activated down here, you can activate them up here to be any value. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and put all five dice in the bag. Draw two dice a turn, and we're gonna get rolling with this. So here we go. These are considered plain, of course. Sixes, sixes are not ideal in this game, but they do serve a purpose. Um, you can use them to make honey, but making honey, you have to have bees. I don't have any bees currently. So I'm actually gonna use those six towards filling up some of my wheels here. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six, and let's make, let's do one of these. This seems cool. Two, three, four, five, and six. So the purple dice would let me use the purple die when it comes out. This would let me have an extra point when I make honey. So as round one, I'm going to mark that off. All right, back in the bag we go. Our bag's shaking around. And two and a three, uh, or two and a two. Oh, okay. a lot of the same values. Um, I have to use exactly a one here to fill these two in, um, but I can use these towards something. So let's see, we're looking for blues or we're looking for sets. Um, let's see here. Well, that one's blue, that one's blue. These are both blue. So based on our round card, that's kind of helpful to have. So that's going to get us, you know, four points. I like points, right? You guys like points too. So let's uh, mark that one. So now we're two in. And let's see, we got two more dice. Four and a five, all right. So if we're looking for more of those blues, why not, right? There's a four. Go ahead and get a blue from that one and a five. There are no blues in five. So one of the other things you want to kind of pay attention to is completing rows because that's going to give you points at the end. You know, if you have complete rows with the bees. Um, I think that for five, I'm going to go ahead and mark a shape over here. I think shapes are cool. So this is round three. I'll mark that. <clears throat> Did not have doubles that turn. Nice. All right, let's see what we got. And we rolling, rolling. That's the way we roll and roll. A one and a one. There's doubles again. Oh, hey, look. So now you guys are rolling like I was. There we go. So now every time I make honey, I get plus one. And now I can utilize the purple die when it comes out. So that is four turns in. Chuck these back in the bag. You could have also put them up here in the one, you know, you could have used this for another blue, things like that. Um, some of our flowers have multiple colors. So there's our purple dye, which we have here. And then a three. Um, so I can make this six into a different value if I want, because it's purple and I have access to the purple dye. Um, and I've already marked up here in the purple. I've marked those two. Let's go ahead and mark this one. We'll mark this one in E. 
it's large is what that is. And then the three, let's look at our three columns, see if there's anything interesting. Um, you know, I'm sure there probably is. Let's see. Lots of powers I can use. I haven't used any of those yet. Um, well, there's another blue here in three, and it's in that row. So that seems good. So now, this is our scoring rounds where I marked that. Got to throw our dice back in the bag. So, like I was saying, I'm going to use the blue. You guys are welcome if you've been marking the um, shapes to use the upper part. So, for me, two points per blue marked. So, one, two, three, four. So I got eight points. And this card is out of here. So, unlike Hot Rod, if you guys played Hot Rod, the cards don't stick around. They don't give you half value. You either get them when you get them or you don't get them. But that's why there's two options. I tried to make it easy for folks to try to get access to them. There's two more dice, so six or two. So I don't have access to the yellow dice. I could bank honey for one because I get a bonus point for doing honey. But I think for me, I'm going to mark this power. I get to use it once. I can turn this die into something else. Because for me, it's treated as a white because I don't have yellow. So I'm going to make it a purple, which means I can make it a five, which means I can fill this one in. And now I have a completed B. So now the next time I use a six, I can make honey for two because I have honey and a B. Um, my other two, I'm feeling this row. I don't know. I don't know about y'all. So I'm going to on this shape over here, this kind of trumpet flower shape. So that is round six. And moving on. There we go. In the back. There's by purple, and there's a one. Um, so if you guys had used the six last time, that could have been cool for that. Um, let's see here. Well, I can make the purple any value, but three is not a bad idea. Actually, it'd be better as a two, right? Because then now I've got, because those are small, or medium. Medium is the open square. The, the solid square is the small ones. Um, so now I've got two Bs. Two Bs, not. Well, if I have more than two Bs, then it would be not two B. But there we go. All right, so that's, that's my action with the purple and then I've got a one I could again put that up in that area or seeing as how sixes are super great if you have lots of B's not super great for other things um, I'm gonna mark one space on this right here and my little pie so mark our round seven and we're going to continue on our merry way this looks like next is red so that's that pen the Pentagon or um, completed rows. Oops, sorry. It's supposed to be two, not three. There we go. So I do not have a yellow, right? As we talked about, I do not have a color for that one either. Um, I could use my power to make one of those values any value I want, or I could fill a B. If I had a six, that might be really useful to do that first. Um, it's in the row where you have the least bees, though. Um, so that wouldn't help me with the purple row. So not so useful. But if I start to fill up that area, then it's more useful. Um, twos are not great here. And threes. Threes are good. Let's go ahead and mark this one. This is the, uh, the small, the very small flowers. Their little star points. Um, for that two, you know, I've started working on this flower, and that's kind of a handy thing. But really, I need rows complete. Um, I don't think I'm going to complete this row because I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I have many dice. I have six dice. Um, so that's probably not ideal. So I guess I think I'm going to go ahead and take this for the shape over here, for the two, and I'm going to mark that. Now we're on round 
nine. <clears throat> It's appropriate. I'm having allergies and playing a, a flower game. There's a six on one. Um, so I don't have the green die yet, but I do have six spaces to fill in here on the yellow. Let's get it. So now when the yellow die comes up, I can use it. Um, so that's the six done. And the three, or the one, it's a one. The one that I want to be a different number. I don't like beans. Um... The idyllic AF game where Benny has to contemplate things. I'm going to go ahead and mark this flower because it's going to be actually useful towards this round's goal, which is coming up this the end of the next round. This is round nine. Um, so now, so far, I've got two of those, two of the pentagons, right here, here, and here. Um, nothing else. Wow. Benny's striking out. All right, here we go. It's okay. I'm going to focus on other things. As, as those things happen. Hey, look. A yellow. Um... So the yellow could be anything I want because I have the yellow dice accessible for me. Um, but I can only use it in that row as a different value. I could use it anywhere else as though it were a plain value. Um, so that row does not have any pentagons. So that's not helpful for that goal. It does have some medium-sized flowers. I am trying to fill up some bees. Let's see here. Or I could fill in a three. Let's go ahead and fill in the three. So this will be a regular three up here. Because this will get me another bee. I'm trying to plan ahead for my honey making. That's how you get the extra points, the honey and the bees. Almost do a full row up there. That's pretty groovy. And then a four. Let's see here. I think probably the honest best decision is to do this because it's got a pentagon on it. So that's our four. So now we're at the end of round ten. Let's score this one. I don't have any completed rows. You guys might. Um, so if you do, your that's worth six points for each one. But I do have pentagons. I've got one. I've got two. I've got two. Yep, that looks like about it. So that to me is worth four points. Let's go ahead and mark that for four. Get that card out of here. Goodbye. <coughs> so this next one. The next card you guys can see, um, this is medium-sized flowers, or two points per completed wheel. Right now I've got three wheels complete, so that's probably what I'm going to do next turn, the next uh, scoring turn on turn 15. This is turn 11. Here we go. Two dice. Oh, look, another yellow. And a one. Hey, a one. A one and a six. That's pretty dang useful, um, considering we're doing full wheels. I could fill a wheel. I could uh, make some honey. If I used it for honey, it'd be worth four. If I used it for green, I'd have a whole lot more. Um, I have a lot more options. I guess you guys have to figure out what you're going to do with your turn too, huh? Let's see. And I have a one also. Hmm. Yeah. I like the flexibility. So I'll use all my seven pips, six and one is seven, to fill up the green. So now I have access to all three of the dice, which is good flexibility, maybe not good for what I'm going to try to do for points. I guess we'll see. It's, it's good for another wheel, though, so that's kind of cool. All right. Now we're rolling green and yellow, so I can use those in their own rows as any value, or I can use them as a six and a three um, in any row. What did I say? Full wheels. Yeah. Let's see. And the threes are all set in that purple row. The sixes would make honey. I think I'm going to make some honey with the six dice, so I'm going to move that up here. That'll be six for me. So I've got one, two, three bees plus one for my honey. So I'll make four honey. I'm going to fill that in in my honey jar here. I can make up to um, six honeys um, from each hive. And those are worth their points as written. 
So that's kind of cool. And then down here, oh gosh, I haven't done a whole lot with green yet. Maybe that's something to work on. Yeah, we'll take this shape. So this kind of oblong oval shape um, actually is appearing on our round 20 um, thing here, our um, card, scoring card. So that's those two. Hope you guys made good choices. Hope you're having a great day. Getting lots of snacks and plenty of water. Make sure you pause in between, get some water and whatever else you guys need to do while we're playing here. There's a three and a six. So three can be anything I want, of course, because it's purple and I have access to the purple die. It's six can be a six because, I, well, I guess I could change it to any number with that down here if I wanted to. Um, I like... I like that three is not a three. I like it as a four up here in purple because I'm really rocking on purple. And then... I'm going to go ahead and use this power. Make that six into a four. Finish this one up. So now I have four bees in my purple meadow. So now when I make honey, it's going to be worth five. So I'm mark out that round. Here we go. Hope you guys made good choices too. Six and three. So six can be anything I want. The three can be a three. It is anything I want in the green row, of course. So let's go ahead and mark that one. So we can mark it because that's six or green. It can be anything, any value at all. There we go. Nice little bee right there. Hello, Mr. Bee. Go and pollinate some flowers for me. And then our three, let's see. You know, I don't like the three, but Three could be useful. Um, I think Oh, here we go. So check this out. I'm gonna use my last power. So I'm going to fill a B in the row with my least Bs. I'm actually gonna fill this one. There's a very good reason why I'm doing this though. Let me show you that real quick. So this completes a column of Bs here. At... Oh no, it doesn't. I picked the wrong one. I'm sorry. This. Completes a column at four. Sorry, I didn't see it. I was not paying attention. Anyway, so that completes this column. I can still fill in these values. I just won't, I, I'm not going to be able to score them for the, the bonuses up here. Um, so this completes a column, which are then worth um, two points at the end of the game. Full rows are worth three points. So that's kind of cool. Um, I still haven't used the three yet. Let's, um, let's mark. Let's see, what I have coming up? Big flowers, no. Nope. I guess we'll take one of those, medium one. Um, so for that one coming up, this is on round 20. Um, that's gonna have, for each uh, set of small, medium, and large that you have, and you can only count your, your shapes once or your sizes once per um, group that you make. <clears throat> that's gonna be worth some points. So having another you know, one of those marks isn't a bad idea. There we go, green and a five. Let's see. So I work on my fives, work on my greens. My green could be a six, I can make two honey out of it. Or my green could be anything else I want. Let's see. Full wheels. I'm not getting another full wheel because this is a scoring round. Um, I think that well, I've been working on this one for the three, so let's go ahead and mark that one. Try to get this B actually in here, not my. Oops, I made a mistake. B, and then for five. Hmm. I'll put a five down. Yeah, I guess so. I got mark this one. So now it's time to score again. This is two points for each one of the medium size or two points for full wheels. So that's eight for full wheels. I don't think I've got that many 
open squares. One, two, three, three. It's only six points for that. So we're going four wheels. So that's going to be eight points for me. Mark that. Hope you guys are scoring points too. Get that card on out of here. And we are continuing on our merry little journey here. Wandering the fields, identifying flowers for our bees to go visit. So they can make us some of that sweet, sweet honey. So the one is yellow. It could be anything I want in that row. Um, even a, a beehive. I can make it six. That's cool. Let's see. And three. Hey, look. I can actually finish this row and properly mark this bee and stop feeling like I've cheated earlier. I didn't cheat. I just put it in the wrong row because I wasn't paying attention. Anyhow, so that's the three. And then the one. Um, the one. You know what? I think it's time to make a little more honey. So we're going to make some honey. It's worth three for me because I have the, the skill, the honey skill. All right. Let's see what we got next. It's good to have those honey skills, right? All right. Six and a two, and they have no color. So, logically speaking, I'll take five on this one. Be my six. And then two. Let's go ahead and fill this one in because it gets me another B. Gets me closer on this row here, which is kind of cool. And then closer on this column here, also cool. So these columns are coming up as a possible way to score points. Right now I've got one set of columns, so that's cool. I got a little wind here in the background with my fan, apparently. All right. Five and five. That is good, I guess. I can't very well change them. I could put them down as skills. Or I can finish up this flower here in yellow. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I've got three bees over here. I like it. That is good for me. All right, here we go. Pack and bag. All right, y'all. Remember, we need to pause it. Get some water, get a snack, take a break, whatever you need to do. Please do. We are just playing for fun today. There's a three in yellow, so it could be any value I want. So it could be a one to fill this other one, or it could be a six, which would be five points because I have the honey skill. Oh, tricky, tricky business. Um, hmm. I never did finish this row up here with the ones either. That's interesting. Um, see, sixes are kind of bad for a little bit and then they get better for this game. It's kind of how that rolls. This is one of those, those uh, oblong shaped. So I'm going to mark that for my one and then my three could be anything I want. I really think I need to just go ahead and make it some honey. We like honey? Yes, yes we do. Reminds me of uh, reading Pooh Bear as a child and my father reading it to me, my mom. That was one of our, my favorite books growing up was the, the Pooh Bear books. We the Pooh. Four and five. I search for honey. I'm getting stung by the bees. All right, so the five can be anything I want up here in purple. So we'll make that a one because I'm pursuing this row still. Um, and then I've got a four. My fours are four. Full, but I could still gain that. Or I can put in my wheel. Let's put in my wheel, I guess. Two, three, four. Um, all right. So I did my one there. And we are scoring again. So this is shape. So this is the the oblong shape. I've got one, two, the, the flat oval, two, um, three. Three of those. Let's see, for sets. So let's see, I need one. That's another filled in one. Those are two smalls, two bigs, and a medium. So there's one set. Two sets, right? And three sets. Wow, 18 points for having three sets. Yeah. So pretty cool. Make sure you guys get your points. Um, 
that may change in the final game. I don't know. No, probably. Probably have to stay the same. Anyway, that was the last five turns. It's good to have uh, options here. Oh no, both white. So I can finish in my uh, my wheel here. I can use this power now because that's kind of important to make this five not a five because it's not very useful to five at the moment because my, well, I guess my rows for five are not full. My column isn't. But if I fudge it to a one, I could fill up that row, which is probably what I need to do. Okay. So that's points at the end of the game. Okay, so that is that. And then on the next round. So this last round looks like the big flowers are worth two points or each column is worth four points. So I've got two columns. I've got several big flowers. So I'll probably use that one. Six and three. And you all are welcome to do what you all need to do with your stuffs. Green is six, but I could use this something else. Or I could fudge one of my dice. This only affects one dice around, not, not both of them. So you guys have to be careful of that. So I could use this as a six up here, which would get six points, which is the move. And then a three. Well, I could work on this column. Or I could slide it to four or two or one or... I could slide it. No, it goes up. So it would be either four or five. Um, yep. Not a great roll for me. Let's see. Maybe it's great for y'all. I hope y'all have a good a good plan for that one. I do not. I'm going to go ahead and fill in this right here because I think that's useful. I don't know. It's closer towards a row. So that's something. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Check it, check it, check it. And we got one, two, two dice. All yellow. All right. Uh, five. So remember, I can fudge the five up to either a six or a one, or the two can go up to a three or a four. Um, what was I working on? I was trying to complete that column. Hmm. I have a couple columns I could complete. The five's not very useful, though, for that. Let's see. I think the two. Yeah. I think the two is going to, I'll use that as a one here in the yellow column, or the yellow row, because I think that's going to be useful. Um, oh, wait, oh, yeah, because it's, it's, it's the matching value, so it can be any, or a matching color, so it can be anything in that row. I can make that five or six and get six points up in my upper hive. Um, that feels like the most strategic move because five, there's no bigs here and I'm not going to complete this column. In three turns, I mean, I could. But is it worth four points to do that? Yeah, because that'd be four, that'd be eight points. Nope, we're going to make it a six. A cop out. Sorry, y'all. There's probably a better move there. Um, I just couldn't think of it. Anyway, hope y'all are kicking butt too, getting all the points on our last two turns. Uh oh, better make hay while the sun shines, as they say. Oh, all right. Purple and yellow. So those can be any value I want because I have access to those, of course. Um. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark this big shape. Even though I've marked the B here, I can still access the, the identifiers. I just happen to know where this flower is, and the bees are happy about it. 
looks like a sunflower actually i really like the art in this game um all right and then six let's see where does the six go i mean the six makes honey you can make honey in any row but that's where six points here so why fight it right right all right last round y'all this is it this is the end and then you're done with me for another game. Hopefully you've won. I'm rooting for y'all. I'm rooting for y'all to kick my butt at this game. So two <clears throat> and a five. So two I can't really do a whole lot with changing. I can make the five any value I want though. I mean, so that's, that's gonna be five points. I'm just gonna make the five into a six. We'll make some honey. And the two. The two we will put somewhere. I don't know. The two's not great. But I can fudge it to a three or four, right? Is that better? Not really. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll mark this one because I need to use the two somewhere. So it's. It, it didn't do much for me that round, so. All right, so, scoring. I only have one row, or one column full, which is four points, but I have ease. I've got one, two, that's what I was counting earlier. Three, four ease, four ease marked. So that's eight points, so we're gonna mark eight, because it's better to have eight than four. All right, <clears throat> so, here at the end, here's our little in-game scoring, get our dice out of here. So we're going to score points for we get five points per completed B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Bs is 50 points. Bs are hard to complete, y'all. Three points for completed wheel. I have six of the, five of those. One, two, three, four, five. So that is 15 points. Three points for, per B in a completed row. This is a completed row, so that's 15 points. Two points for B in a completed column, six points. Sum of my honey, so I have four and six is 10, 15, 21, 27. And here I have 10, 13, and here I have zero. So I have 40 points in honey. And so I have to pull all my points from the round down, all down through here. So real quick, there's 12. 20, 38, 46, 96, that's what, 111, I think that's right, 5, carry the 1, yeah, 111, 126, 132, hope you guys are kicking my butt on this game, 172 for Benny, that is honey, thank you guys for checking out my idyllic little game about wildflowers and bees and honey. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for playing along. If you played along at home, I look forward to uh, getting this game out to you guys so you can check it out. Um, our Kickstarter is coming up sometime next month. Um, it'll be in September. You guys will see this video as part of the Kickstarter. So anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for checking out Vaughn Wright Revolution. Thank you for checking out Honey. Thank you for being supportive of me and my, my goals. This is actually a game that my girls helped design. So there. You'll see their names on this one also. So Ainsley and Tavi, this one's for you, big girls. All right, thanks y'all for checking this one out.